So this is just a quick overview of our Google search ads generator tool that we've built at 43 Quicks North. It's made up of two tabs. So one is your ad copy building tab and the other is your ad preview tab. So what we're gonna do is just build out a, uh, an ad group within here, a new responsive search ad essentially. So just obviously give it an ad group name. We've got a completion bar, which will obviously grow as you uh, start to build out your, your ad copy in here. Just give you an idea of how many assets you've got to create the most effective combination. So speed, we're just going to uh, copy some of this down and update some of these headlines. You can see that uh, we've got pinning functionality within here. So you can choose which position you want to pin these at. If you wanted them at position one, two, or three, obviously from the brand name, position one, you can do that. If you've got more than one, uh, headline with uh, at the same position, then it will rotate between those. Um, if you've got same with descriptions, if you've got more than one uh, pinned at each position, it'll rotate between those. If you've got headlines that are pinned in position one and position two, like these, they will always be shown, and anything pinned in position three may be shown, but when it is, it will be in position three. So the same as what Google Ads does. Same goes for descriptions. Anything in position one will always be shown. Anything in position two may be shown, but it may not as well. We have some conditional formatting in just to highlight when stuff goes over certain character counts, but it also takes into account when you use the dynamic keyword insertion as well. So this headline is obviously over 30 characters, but by um, including this uh, curly bracket keyword formula, um, it will take that into account when uh, counting the characters. Obviously we can add in our paths as well. And descriptions, we'll just copy these down. So we've got descriptions in there. So once you've built out uh, your ads for each uh, each ad group or each ad, how many, how many responsive ads that you want in there, you can pick which ad groups you want to preview. You can preview all of them if you want. You don't have to do them all. If you pick a row that doesn't have uh, any assets in, then it will highlight that. Obviously, we don't want to generate any blank ads in there. Then when you're ready, you can just click the Generate Ad button at the top. While that's running, it um, should only take a few seconds, but we have these little uh, tips per headline as well. If you're ever stuck for um, creative copywriting, it'll just give you an idea of what type of messaging to include in, in each of those headlines. When it's done, you'll get this pop-up, so it says to go to the Ad Previewer. Obviously, we've generated these combinations now. If you then go in and change any of this copy, you'll have to come back and generate those variations again just to make sure that it includes any changes you've made. So we'll go to the ad preview again. So it's pulling through all of our copy now. So we can uh, take a look at what's being used, where the pinning is happening. So we can see that um, our pinning, we've got the uh, just headlines in there for pins at position one. And then position two, we've got the box copy uh, in here. And then position three, we've got the keeping your clients in the loop. So we can see that the just headlines are coming through with the boss copy in position two. And then the clients in the loop is position three sometimes, but not all the time, which is how it should work. You can shuffle between all the variants. So it creates five variations per ad. So if you click this shuffle button, it'll give you different variations of that copy as you go through. If, like I said, if you come back and then start to change any of this, so say we want to remove these and have the brand at position one, or we change any of the copy or anything, we can generate those ad variations again. And then once that's done, you can see that it's figuring it out here. So we'll get the pop up again. And we should start to see the brand name coming in position one on all of these. The boss copy is still in two. And the client's in the loop comes up on number three every now and again. And like I said, you can manually shuffle through these, share it with your client if you wish, and they can comment on it get an idea of how either your ad's going to look in the SAPs. So yeah, that's it. Any feedback on that, let us know. Or if you just want to use it, then download it for free from this blog article. Cheers.